Okay. Well, welcome back. I'm going to delete that other video because it, my computer was not working with me. It wanted to tell me, okay, I've had enough. I've had enough. Can we, can we shut down for the week? I can't do this anymore. And so I am going to go back and we will delete the old one and bring in the new. And what did I do? I had to surrender to the fact that my computer was not working with me. And what do you think of when you hear the word surrender? What do you think of when um, things don't go just the way that we plan them? You know, I am reading, I shared I'm doing this devotion on, on uh, Romans 12 and this morning, everything coming up is all about trust and surrender, trust and surrender. And yet that's the hardest thing when we can't control. Like my computer was not working with me for three minutes. It just kept lagging. And here's the, this is where we get to go. This is where we get to go. We struggle so hard to make it right and to fix it. And I can do this. You know, I have the power. I am able to do this. And we'll spend hours and energy and all of this time trying to figure it out. And God's saying, hey, just, just take a little break and take a step back. Let me, let me handle it for you. And it's the same with the computer. The computer is literally saying, okay, I've been on all week. I need a little bit of a step back. I'm going to, if you're not going to force a surrender to, to do a restart, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow you down until you do. We get to listen to what everything in the world is telling us. So I've been doing this devotion on Romans and we still haven't gotten past the first verse. <laughs> and it, it is because I'm on the fourth day, I think, fifth day. It's because what we don't give up is what keeps us from experiencing the full blessing, the full blessing of what God wants to give us. And so today is Friday celebration, you know, and I am celebrating being on a TV show last night. So it was recorded and that was a lot of fun. And I got to really talk about inclusion and how to invite people in. How do we overcome obstacles? And it's the same thing with God. He wants to invite us in so we can overcome obstacles. You know, I celebrating a phenomenal. So tell me what you're celebrating from this week, because things aren't all struggles and stress. What do you celebrate? What are you giving thanks for? We had a team training day all day Wednesday. We had a fun day. We worked on vision. We worked on getting to know each other better because we've got a lot of new staff. And then we wrapped the day up with ax throwing. And let me tell you, my back is killing me today. <laughs> Throwing takes a lot of upper body strength that and muscles that you don't typically use. So what are you celebrating? I'm celebrating that connection. I'm celebrating letting go. You know, I have a list a mile long and yet we put it all aside to go spend time together as a team to create something new. And this is my invitation to you, you know, and, and I'm going to read this. Let me see if I can find Romans 2. Um, it's actually Romans 12 1 so when you think about it says brothers and sisters I beseech you bring all of yourself as a sacrifice you know if we're gonna let go of something we've got a sac we get to sacrifice you know letting go of time letting go of the work letting go of not trusting letting go and I always come back and think of the Quakers because when the Quakers pray they actually put their hands down and they put them down to release See, we hold on to things so tight that we have a hard time releasing. And we put it, our hands down and we're like, okay, God, you can have this. You can have this pain in my back. You can have, you know, the worry about a job. I'm shifting, you know, I'm shifting into a new, into a new line of wherever God's taking me. And I'm not super, super clear, but I know it's happening and it's going to happen probably in the next couple of months. I'm letting go of the worry of not knowing exactly what it looks like and how it's going to work out. We're so good at saying, I got to know this, 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 this before we step into anything. And then we miss out on opportunities that God has for us. It says, come, come, come. 
mind, body, spirit. See, this mind gets in our way so many times. It keeps us from receiving the full blessings of God. And I want to read something that a friend of mine shared with me because I'm doing this study with her. And be mindful. Surrender is not a bad thing. Surrender is actually the best thing in the world for you because that means you're letting go, you're trusting, you're giving it up, and you are letting God come in and help you. Think about when you've got a baby and a baby's learning to walk. They don't go out on their own. We hold their hands as they learn to walk. And that's what God wants to do. He wants to hold our hands and say, hey, guess what? I'm here to help you through this. I'm here to let you learn to walk and know that you're not by yourself. That's what surrender is. It's not doing it. And I'll tell you, trust is a huge thing. We have all the reasons in the world not to trust because people hurt us. Things have happened. We've lost jobs. We've lost family members. We've lost all these things. And with every loss, we build up a little bit of a wall. And we take that trust back and we're like, yeah, I don't trust that this is going to work in my favor. So I'm going to work at it a little harder. It's exhausting to work at it a little harder. It's a war. It's exhausting to think that you owe that you, you always need to be first. We are not supermen and superwomen. We aren't designed that. Do we have power? Yes. We have power through the Holy Spirit. Yes. And how do you activate that power? through faith, which means we first get to surrender. We get to say, God, all that I am and all that I have is yours. So here's um, uh, what surrender is. And this is by Chip Ingram. It says, surrender, total commitment. Like you've got it all. Think of an athlete. They are totally committed to what they're creating. And surrender is total commitment is the channel through which God's biggest and best blessings flow total commitment. Are you totally committed to God? Are you totally committed to him and saying, God, I have no idea what tomorrow holds. I don't even know what today holds. Cause for me, I don't know where you are in life, but you know where you are in the world, but it is still a morning of a day where I don't know what will happen. I can have my plan, my day all planned out. And that does not mean <laughs> that does not mean it's going to go that way. So my question is, what is your barrier? What is your one biggest barrier to surrender? When I answered that question this morning, for me, it was trust. For me, it was trust. Trust is my biggest barrier. And that's where God's been leading me for over a year now. He's like, come here, Donna, I want to trust you. I want you to trust me. I trust you that you will land in my promises. Think about Joshua. God trusted Joshua to see the promised land differently than every other person. There were only two, Joshua and Caleb, who saw the absolute benefit and blessing of what God was promising in the promised land. He was totally committed to going through even though they, he knew there were giants there, he knew that there were wars that were going to be fought. He knew what was coming and it wasn't going to be easy, but he's like, God, I see what you have for me and I trust you with that. What's your barrier? And then I want to wrap it up with this. I want to wrap it up with this prayer. And it was a prayer that, again, that my friend shared with me by Ignatius of Loyola. So when you think about where you are in your life right now, are you ready to completely surrender your life, your marriage, your children, your job, the work that you do, whether it's paid work or unpaid work? Because it's easy even as moms, and I'm still a mom even though my children are, are raised, to want to control, to want to worry about them. But you see, God gave me those children. They are my gift and I get to be the steward that guides and directs them. And I get to trust that God is watching over them. I get to trust and surrender the unknown of the next steps 
of my business or ministry, I get to surrender and trust because that's where I can find peace. That's where I can find love. That's where I can find hope. And I invite you to live in a place of peace and love and hope. You know, in James it says, faith without works is dead. Faith fully activated means we fully surrender. When the woman who was bleeding for 12 years, her faith was so strong, she said, if I just touch the hem of his cloak, then I'll be healed. Do you have that faith? Do you have that? In order to have that level of faith, you got to surrender and know that nothing else is going to take care of this except for God. He wants us, he wants you, he wants me to fully surrender. That means release everything, let it go. Are you ready to surrender today? I am, because life is too hard without God. And so I am fully ready to surrender and let him guide my steps. In Proverbs 19, he says, I will guide your steps and direct your path. How would it be? to just go through the day saying, okay, God, I don't know what to say next, but I trust you. Let's wrap it up with this. And this is a beautiful prayer. Take Lord and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will, all I have and call my own. You have given all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. That is enough for me. Amen. If you are ready to live a life of surrender, give me a thumbs up. And guess what? That surrender is an everyday game. We get to lay it down every single day and probably every single night. Because God wants to do this life with you. He wants to hold your hand just like we hold a child's hand. Because we are his children. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be anywhere else but there. So, invitation. Write down what is your biggest barrier to surrender. And then write a prayer of surrender to God. Write it down. And say, this is yours. I hope this has been helpful and I pray that, you know, there's, we got a world of struggling people. So my request is that you share this with one person who you know is struggling, that is ready to let go and let God in. Because that's the only way when we live under his grace and mercy that we're going to find peace, love, joy, and hope. Have a very beautiful day. Have a great weekend. And you know what? You are, I'm always here, so please message me and look for things. I'm asking for your prayer as well as God leads me down this new path that I am completely surrendered to his will and what he would have me do. So, because you'll get to go with me, always. Have a very blessed day. Have a blessed weekend. And I will see you back here on Monday.